Okay, we're dropping some knowledge. Nachos were first created in Mexico around 1943, and today we celebrate National Nacho Day to honor all of their ooey, gooey, cheesy goodness. It is the eating season, right? These days, people serve nachos as a snack, an appetizer, and let's face it, a full meal. Lauren Kelly is giving one of the biggest nacho dis dishes in town a try. You're making a dent in that. You look great eating them, too. <laughs> Thank you, Courtney. That's definitely what I was going for today on this National Nachos Day. First of all, we're at Chachos off of the South Loop. This is one of my favorite spots. Currently, dining is closed, but you can get all of your favorites straight to the drive-thru, including their Monster Kong Nachos dish. And let me just show you guys, like, for me to pick it up, it is so heavy. I feel like it weighs like a couple of me and, and that's doing some damage. But to get all those fun facts about what is in this is the restaurant manager Ignacio Ramos is with us today. Thank you again for setting this up. I feel like I've been eating nachos the wrong way for so long and now this is the right way. All right. Okay. No, thank you for that. So yeah, so the, the reason that why we got the monster con nachos is back on the 90s, our nachos were so, so popular with our customers. Okay. The, the restaurant want to create something, a, a bigger version of the nachos, so allow the people to actually uh, share and don't need to be paying attention to your own plate, just share for everybody, got it on the table, and everybody can and get let's around. let's face it, you see this these days, people are like, I've got to put this on Instagram. This is huge, right? Yeah, right. Everybody let's enjoy it. Every time there's somebody. About, first of all, Ignacio, I want you to tell everybody what is in this. How much meat and how much does this whole thing weigh? Correct. So you got almost two pounds of meat. And you got the four different meats that we offer. You got ground beef, cherry chicken, beef fajita, and uh, chicken fajita. And it's probably way around five to six pounds maybe of food. Oh my gosh, that's and so it, it's, you got the, uh, you can accompany it with the, the, our homemade guacamole, sour okay. cream. We got a homemade uh, pico de mango. We got jicama, mango, and papaya, and our traditional salsa. And then more jalapenos. And also, there's more cheese if there wasn't enough cheese for you right there. Correct. This if you still need a little bit more a cheese, little you got more a, cheese, a, a bowl of cheese in the middle that you can <laughs> dip your chips after. You this eat. is like a Jenga game of chips, trying to figure out which one that you want to eat. But you know what? I'm just going to start with one really large piece and say, mmm, cheers to National Nacho Zanu. It's so rude to talk with my mouth full. But you guys, this is where you should be at Chacho's. Cheers, and I hope you're celebrating with some of this as well. Courtney, back to you guys. That <laughs> looks amazing. I love Ignacio. Always has great information, and at Chachos, they do everything grand. So thank you so much thank for you. celebrating today. And